My name is Jeremy Scott Miller uh, and I'm an artist. My ambition in life when I was a child was um, to, um, it's always been about art because I was um, introduced to art at a very early age and um, I, I, I was absolutely useless at school with academic subjects but I was very good at drawing right from the beginning. I always got complimented on, on my drawing from um, primary school to, into secondary school. So I sort of knew that I wanted to be um, an artist or, or do something in the art world. I wanted to carry on pursue, pursuing art and so I um, enrolled at, um, to do life classes at Camden Art Centre. And um, I went and did um, life drawings two or three times uh, um, a week, which really gave me the sort of the, the, um, the, the desire to take it further and then I applied to go um, to a foundation course at St Martin's Art School with the drawings that I did um, when I was at uh, Camden Art Centre and uh, got, into, uh, got a place there. I took my first steps um, into art um, for a career um, when I was working part-time um, for my uh, after I left school for my father's, uh, he was in the rag trade. Um, to have mastered my craft after all those, or after all, uh, all these years, um, it, it, it's a progression, basically. Um, I used to, I first started off doing um, paintings, which um, still lives, um, paintings of, of, of models and um, imaginary uh, landscapes. And that really started me thinking that I didn't really need to use natural um, objects, I could actually start using my um, imagination, which led to um, the, the paintings which I'm, um, I, I, I do today. Um, it, um, I mean, it's an ongoing process. In the, it, the imagination is, is, is boundless. So, you know, I just keep um, coming up with stranger and stranger imagery. Uh, as, as life goes on. Dreams, um, and I do dream a lot, I get very repetitive dreams. A lot of it is relevant to the things I paint. Mad sort of abstract forms are recognisable in, in, in various forms. Bits of bodies and, um, and parts of people. It, they're um, distorted um, images of reality. Do you think the, your craft will continue to develop? I, th I think my craft will continue to develop um, into the future be because I'm so much more confident with my abilities and, um, and there's nothing else I want to do other than um, paint pictures in my life. So they'll continue to get sort of better and better. I don't that's what I've always assumed, and and um, and I think it's <laughs> hopefully it's going to be true. This painting I did at um, my last year of postgraduate. In actual fact, it's quite an important painting because it was um, one of the reasons I won the Voice uh, Scholarship to travel to New York. Basically, I was into um, the German Expressionists, Max Beckmann, and um, people like that. And these are people I know. Um, that was um, my girlfriend, Liza, who's there. This is a friend of mine, Roz. Nick, that's Jake Fior, that's Rosa Fior, and that's um, another Nick. Nick Hamp, who's an artist. And again, these are the same people, and that's Liza again. And they used to be at Victoria Station, the, the night ferry to Paris and Brussels, which it's quite a romantic subject matter, so that's one of the reasons I, I painted it. Plus, I was interested in the colours and the well, the whole nighttime effect of of, um, of Victoria Station at night. This 
this room, the lean-to conservatory, was here when I moved in and uh, I particularly liked it because it, it's a nice light open space plus there's the garden and in the summer I go, I take the paintings outside and um, it's much easier to splash paint around outside, uh, outside and um, it just gives me more freedom. It's like having a great big studio when the weather's nice. So yeah, that's, that's the... Um, I didn't ha haven't really had to adapt it much. It's, it was already here, which uh, is, is, is handy. Um, the environment's great because it's 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 peaceful. I can just shut this door. Um, I can ignore the telephone, ignore everything. Life, I, just life going on. I I, I get lost in here, and um, it, it's, it's perfect for me. It's completely mine. Um, my partner's a cleaning fanatic, but I've said that this is the one room she cannot touch. So. It has got special sort of um, meanings for to me. Plus, the dog gets fed here as well, so he's the only one who's allowed in. <laughs> I go very, I go crazy in here. Um, I, you know, I, I splatter everything. Um, when I'm starting off a painting, I like to have a, um, a a sort of mad sort of surface to work on, which means I sort of splash paint around. I use spray paint, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah, there's paint all over the place. My name is David Scott Miller. My profession was company director to a company that was clothing manufacturers. And what's the other thing? And your relationship to Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy's father. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like being surrounded by, you know, a family full of artists? Well, that, I, that part I thoroughly enjoyed. I'd had a fairly sort of normal, strict, not very arty um, upbringing. And um, I was, you know, I felt quite happy and relaxed amongst the sort of arty atmosphere. Did it ever be, get a bit emotional, a bit crazy at times, or...? Um, it had its moments, yes, up and down, yeah. <laughs> and what's your overall view of Jeremy's paintings? Well, I love Jeremy's paintings, um, and they are, I think they are completely different. And they all spring from his imagination. So they're truly original. From an outside view, do you think there's a deep connection between the artist and their art? Yes, I do. I think there is a deep connection. Um, knowing Jeremy as I do, I can quite see that, that he, I mean, he has a lot of imagination, so I can understand why he does this sort of art, this, what do you call it, existential, surrealist art? Yeah, that's, no, I think that's great. I think that is does reflect his personality and um, I feel he should have had more recognition than he's had up to date. Art to me on a personal level is, um, with my own art, it's, it's basically it's so, it's so important to me. I don't really care whether I ever sell a painting. The importance for me is to do them and I have got that outsider attitude that I'll continue painting the pictures and I don't really care whether anyone sees them or not. I'm doing them purely for myself and for no one else. And it's, it'll be great if suddenly someone comes along and, and buys a lot for a lot of money, but it's not, that's not the reason I do it. I do it for my love of, of my, what I can create using my hand, eyes and imagination. Nine times out of ten it works straight away which is strange. I think it's to do with all the energy which I put into it over a sort of period of weeks and have got nowhere with it, but I think the energy stays onto the canvas. And um, I mean, if you, a lot of my um, canvases, you, there's about four or five paintings underneath and, and sometimes uh, I can, the imagery from a picture which, I, which was a flop comes through and gets re-entered, but in, in a different way. So th that's the importance of it, is everything you put down is left. I, I, I never scrape anything off, it just gets painted over. Surrealist painting is significant to me because it allows um, one to um, explore the imagination and the bizarre. My ambitions for the future um, are to continue painting um, in the manner I'm doing and get better and plus um, I'd like to, to exhibit all around the world and have 
my work in, in, in public collections just about everywhere. I will always be painting for the rest of my life because that it's in my DNA and I, there's nothing else I, I, I want to do.